For me, um, that in itself is a very exciting prospect, firstly, um, and you know, going into these next few se seasons, it's going to be very important to you know, establish a league and obviously kind of get the momentum going. But yeah, I'm just looking forward to uh, just, I don't know, just getting like, almost like a, a professional thing behind it and obviously racing for teams, just more, much more exciting than just racing for your country every two years or every four years. So it's uh, to have multiple races a year uh, it's going to be hugely beneficial to the sport and hugely beneficial to the athletes' exposure. Our main races are probably, you know, some could argue world championships every two years or Olympic Games every four years. So they're our main kind of races and those races only last for just under a minute. So it's, uh, it's, it's ridiculous to see like it's just a short amount of time. So if you're racing multiple times a year, one, you get the exposure, two, you get to race more, which is everyone loves and people get to see more. So yeah, it's... Um, it's just a very exciting thing, especially you know, next year when we're going to be you know, kicking it off uh, just before uh, Tokyo. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's never, I mean, that, that's one thing that they've said from the start is, you know, you don't, you don't have to sign anything, you don't have to do anything. It's your league and your voice is, you know, heard more, more now than ever. And that's something that's very important to us because it's respect. And if the athletes are the centre of the stage, which, you, which they are entertainment wise, they are the sport. So you should listen to the athletes and what they want. And yeah, I mean, it's all the background stuff around it as well is, you know, obviously amazing. I think it's just the athletes are getting a fairer deal, firstly. Uh, obviously, offered contracts as well, uh, poss possibly pensions, health uh, insurance and stuff like that, which is a huge thing in some countries as well. But yeah, I mean, it, for me, it just comes down to the racing and growing the sport and growing it in a way which is sustainable. And I think this way is sustainable because it'll keep attracting people to race and keep attracting fans to watch it. If you go to a world championship, say Budapest, and you sell out the stadium, no problem. So it's, you know, the fans are there, it's just getting that engagement with them and getting you know, people to come and watch, and um, I don't think that'd be a problem. I am kind of guess it's more about a Davis Cup or something like that, where the home nation chooses kind of, you know, in our terms, short course, long course, yards, whatever. Uh, and yeah, the home nation obviously gets the advantage with everything. So if you go around the world, obviously it's a bit like the F1, it's different tracks you get obviously uh, different races and different corners and stuff so you, you get to know I mean, obviously it's not that intricate you know you, you swim up and down it doesn't matter where you race but you know where you are in a world definitely matters and managing that and managing the energy of your athletes and swapping them in and out it's, it's more tactical and more of a team event and people love to see that and people love to see the tactics people love to you know gamble on it and you know what I mean so it's, it just attracts that that aspect of it whereas in Olympics is you race on your own pretty much except from a relay and you're given that and everyone's in the same boat and there's no point system which is a, it's good but it's just a bit dry and I think it's it's running out of time to adapt uh, to the current kind of market really for us it's if that's the way sports got to go it's got to go that way uh, and obviously having like that's the best thing about teams you know people and have the backing behind the teams you could choose whatever team you wanted to swim for and then if you've got to say you choose a team in Australia or a team in the USA, you're going to be that side of the world for at least three or four months. So that's that's the way, you know, again, that's the way it's got to grow. You can't, I think this model of you know, Olympics and Worlds is still going to be the pinnacle of the sport, but in between then, we need to fill that. And, you know, you know, and if we do it right, this can grow you know, even more, probably above a world. So technically, you make uh, most of your money commercially uh, so UK is a very good market for that but someone who did probably the same as me in another country may not do that so I see myself as semi-professional you never see myself as professional because I don't have a contract with British Women or Olympics or FINA no contracts involved so in a sense you're not professional at your job you just make your money appearances uh, and commercial and I've done very well but that's only because I've got a very good management team and you know, we've got very core, very good core values, I believe. So, yeah, for, for us, it's, yeah, I've, I've done pretty well out of what I've been given, but not as a result, direct result of FINA or a direct result of Olympics, because you win Olympics, you don't even get anything. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, there's it, pros and cons, but offering, you know, when there's a league like this now, it's only going to grow, isn't it? So I, I mean, everyone says the dreams of you know getting that uh, big contract or big dreams of winning that and that. But 
from now we've got to see him as goals and you know and I think if athletes work together work very closely obviously with ISL and uh, and the voices are heard through throughout the swimming world and we kind of control where our future goes it's only going to benefit everyone involved so 10 years time you don't you just don't know you honestly don't know I know I think he's that I forgot what league is is it cricket lead IPL is it so just been well they're auctioning like players off now potentially something like that it's just where you've got to find the biggest market for that and uh, you, honestly you just don't know I think you can make any sport interesting to the masses by the way you sell it and the way you uh, promote it and the way the people get inv involved with the athletes and the kind of uh, you know in England we love or Britain we love like a great rivalry and we love the underdogs and stuff like that so selling that kind of uh, thing as well is you know massive Thank you.